What's up guys, my name is Jeff, I'm an architect in California and I'm pumped to be starting this YouTube channel that breaks down my design process that's a bit unique and that it involves setting up high-end renderings at the same time as you're designing. I started working this way because I got into an architecture program in my mid-twenties with zero art and design background. I was pretty self-conscious being around all these students with beautiful drawing abilities, so I decided to take a job at a rendering company. I ended up learning a skill set that you aren't taught in school. I've used the techniques that I learned there to express my own ideas for the past five or six years. I've found that there are a whole lot of benefits to working this way. Number one, it's super efficient. Essentially by the time you finish designing, you've already set up your final render. You've also set yourself up with a clean model to jump straight into your construction documents. Number two, it's way cheaper. You're gonna pay an outside firm a few grand per image to do this type of work. You're gonna be able to do it in-house. Not only that, you're gonna be able to charge more because this is an additional service that a lot of architecture firms don't offer. Number three, your clients who typically aren't as savvy with the 2D drawings or the abstract renders are gonna be a whole lot more comfortable and confident signing off on your designs when they can see a detailed, well thought out rendering that looks as though a professional photographer took it. Number four, it's a great tool for your contractors. You're able to take that detailed rendering and say, this is exactly what the client signed off on and here are my plans that represent that design. Your contractor isn't gonna to have to figure out the design from a black and white 2D set of plans. So the upcoming videos are gonna cover all the main aspects of this workflow. It's gonna cover tips for setting up your Revit model, the basics of 3ds Max, lighting, creating materials, scattering plants, entourage, render settings, and then we're gonna dive into some post-production tricks with Photoshop. I want you to see how all of these things can be done in a flexible way so that as you design, you don't end up losing any of the work on the rendering side. The programs aren't that complicated, they just aren't taught in school. I think anyone able to put together a building is more than capable of putting together a beautiful image with these programs. Along with this YouTube channel, I'm active on Instagram, so subscribe, follow, and I'll keep you posted when I have new content. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you soon.